You know, in the world of AI, the mantra for years has pretty much been bigger is better. More data, more compute, more parameters. But what if that's not the whole story? Today, we're going to dig into a fascinating paper called Less is More, Recursive Reasoning with Tiny Networks. And it does exactly what it says on the tin. It introduces a model that flips that whole idea on its head and challenges the biggest names out there. So let's jump right in. So that really is the central question, isn't it? This is what it all boils down to. Can a tiny little AI, and I mean tiny, just 7 million parameters, actually go head-to-head -head with an industry titan and win? It sounds kind of crazy, almost impossible. But stick with me here, because what the researchers found is pretty mind-blowing. All right, so here's our game plan. We'll start with why we even need this by looking at the LLM reasoning gap. Then we'll check out an early attempt called HRM and see where it stumbled. After that, we'll meet the star of our show, TRM, get right into the nuts and bolts of how it works, and finally look at the results, the less is more verdict. Okay, first section, the LLM reasoning gap, or as I like to think of it, why giants stumble. Let's really set the scene here. We've got these massive language models that seem like they can do almost anything, right? But why do they sometimes just fall flat on their face when you give them a task that needs pure, step-by-step, -step, logical reasoning? Look, don't get me wrong, LLMs are incredible at what they do. You want a story, a summary, a great conversation? They are absolutely your go-to. But their biggest strength is also their Achilles heel. See, they work by predicting the very next word, one after another. It's kind of like they're walking a tightrope without a safety net. For something like a complex puzzle, think Sudoku, if they make one tiny mistake early on, that's it. The whole solution comes crashing down. That auto-regressive nature makes them surprisingly fragile for things that demand perfect logic. And this isn't just a theory. The data tells the story. And it is, well, it's pretty brutal. Just look at these numbers from the paper. You've got DeepSeek, a monster of a model with 671 times billion parameters. Its score on a tough Sudoku test? A big fad zero. Nothing. And even Gemini 2.5 Pro, one of the best out there, barely scrapes by with less than 5% on another really tough reasoning task. Clearly, just throwing more parameters at the problem isn't the answer. All right, so if bigger isn't better, then what is? This is where our story gets really interesting. This clear gap in LLM abilities just blew the doors wide open for a new kind of thinking. Enter the first challenger, the Hierarchical Reasoning Model, or HRM for short. Now, HRMM was a really clever idea, a solid first swing at the problem. The concept was inspired by biology, actually. The idea was to have two small networks working together, kind of like different parts of your brain. They'd loop or recurse at different speeds, passing info back and forth to slowly chip away at a problem and refine the answer. It's a great concept, right? But let's just say it's the flawed hero of our story. So HRM really brought two big ideas to the table. First was this recursive reasoning thing. You have two networks, which the paper calls FL and FH, that are basically creating two different streams of thought, a high-level one and a low-level one. The second big idea was deep supervision. And that's actually a pretty cool concept. It's like, instead of just grading a student on their final exam answer, you grade them on their homework and quizzes along the way. The model gets feedback on its intermediate steps, which helps it learn how to think and get better over time. But, as with any flawed hero, there's always a catch. And this is where the plot twists. HRM looked really good on the surface, but when you started digging into it, you found some pretty serious cracks in the armor. So what went wrong? Well, for starters, the math it was built on was a little shaky. It relies on something called the implicit function theorem, which basically assumes the model's reasoning will eventually settle on a stable answer, a fixed point. The problem? There was no proof it would ever actually get there. On top of that, the whole thing was just needlessly complicated. Two networks, two different kinds of latent features, some kind of hand-wavy biological justifications, and to top it all off, it was super inefficient to train, basically doubling the computational work for every single step. And this is where our true hero enters the scene. This sets the stage perfectly for the Tiny Recursive Model, or TRM. Think of it as the successor that learned from all of HRM's mistakes. It takes the good ideas, throws out all the complicated baggage, and rebuilds the whole thing into something way more elegant and way more powerful. So how does it fix things? Well, it tackles every single one of HRM's problems head on. That shaky math, gone. TRM just backpropagates through the entire recursive process. Basically, it learns from its entire chain of thought. Those two complex networks, replaced with one single, beautifully simple network. And that inefficient training? 
TRM streamlines it, cutting the computation per step right in half. It's not just a patch, it's a complete ground up redesign. Okay, this is the part I love. Let's get into the nitty gritty. How does this time little engine actually generate so much power? Let's pop the hood and really understand the core mechanics of TRM. The first thing TRM does is just simplify the language. It takes HRM's confusing academic variables and makes them super intuitive. Remember ZH and ZL? Well, forget them. ZH, the high-level feature, just becomes Y. That's your answer, the model's current best guess. And ZL, the low-level feature, becomes Z. Think of Z as the model's scratch pad, its internal monologue, its latent reasoning. Suddenly, the goal is dead simple. Use your reasoning, Z, to make your answer, Y, better. And here it is, the core engine of TRM. It's this beautiful, simple, powerful loop. Here's how it works. You start with the problem itself, X. You also have an initial guess for the answer, Y, and some initial reasoning, Z. Step one, you think. You update your reasoning, Z, based on everything you know so far. Step two, you act. You use that new, smarter reasoning to update your answer, Y. And then, you just do it again, and again. With every single loop, the solution gets a little bit better. It's iterative refinement in its purest form. So, the network that runs this elegant loop, how big do you think it is? Get this, just seven million parameters. That's it, seven. That's not just smaller than an LLM, it's way smaller than even its predecessor, HLRM, which was 27 million. We're talking about a model that's a tiny fraction of the size, and it's doing all of this. Now this is where things get really wild and kind of counterintuitive for anyone who's been in deep learning for a while. You know the standard playbook. If you want better performance, make it deeper, add more layers. So the researchers tried that and guess what happened? Performance went down, the model got worse. This quote from the paper just nails it. They found that adding layers actually hurt the model's ability to generalize because it started overfitting. For this specific kind of problem, less is literally more. Okay. So the theory is beautiful, right? It's simple, it's elegant, but does it actually work in practice? Let's look at the proof. This is where we see the rubber meet the road and where the genius of this design really shines. Chuck this out, a straight up showdown on a super hard Sudoku benchmark. On one side, you have the old HRM model at 27 million parameters clocking in at 55% accuracy. Not bad. But then you have TRM with just 5 million parameters for this test, that's over 5 times smaller, and it gets a whopping 87.4% accuracy. I mean, that's not just an improvement, that's a completely different league. Massive performance jump, massive size reduction. And it's not just about beating its own family. How does it do against the Goliaths of the industry? Well, here's a look at the ARC AGI benchmark, a really tough test of abstract reasoning. And you can see it right there. The tiny 7 million parameter TRM scores higher than its predecessor HRM. And it also beats Google's massive Gemini 2.5 Pro. A tiny, specialized model is actually outthinking a massive, general purpose giant. It's incredible. So, what's the big takeaway from all of this? It's pretty simple, and it's pretty profound. For certain types of problems, you don't need a billion parameter sledgehammer. A tiny, two-layer network with a really clever recursive loop. A network that thinks, refines, and thinks again can be far more effective. This really points toward a whole new direction in AI research. And that's really the thought I want to leave you with. If this less is more approach works so spectacularly well for a structured reasoning, you just have to wonder, what else are we missing? What other huge breakthroughs are waiting out there, not by just building bigger, but by building smarter. What else are the giants overlooking?